Can just salam alaikum and welcome back to Ninja Muhammad with another revisited review. Today we are having the beautiful old uh, Bud Gold, the OnePlus 7 Pro, probably the most beautiful uh, smartphone from OnePlus company for sure, guys. Uh, anyway, uh, this is the OnePlus 7 Pro, 256 GB of storage, 8 GB RAM model, uh, having hydrogen OS, uh, Android skin, uh, like you see by stuff here, back glass, front glass, frames, curved display pop-up camera i mean crazy great stuff man seriously crazy great stuff check this out pop-up camera guys love it just love it <laughs> so many great things about it of course we'll be showing you first a little bit of benchmarking performance gaming screen display you know what firstly let's go with the uh, screen display a little bit uh, uh, sound, checking the in-display fingerprint sensor, face ID, talking about the battery, talking about the design, so everything in one single video under 10 minutes. Enjoy! There we go guys, <laughs> what can I say about this display? I uh, just, wow man, check this out guys. Wow man, that is so beautiful, this beautiful AMOLED viewing angles, this richness of the screen, this brightness. And remember this comes with the, uh, of course, WQHD plus screen, very high resolution, it's not full HD, it's 2K, it's just amazing. 515 PPI screen density, very high density, 19.5 with 9 aspect ratio, 1990 Hz AMOLED panel guys, 6.67, let's just say 6.7 inches. Just an absolutely gorgeous, still in my hand, in my opinion, and I think a lot of you will agree that this is the most beautiful OnePlus smartphone of all time. Check out these bezels on the sides, man. That is just beautiful. Seriously beautiful. Does also have a tough screen, I have to admit. Uh, Corning Gorilla Glass 5 protection, dual edge display, HDR10+, plus and DCI-P3 full sRGB standard, of course. Uh, brightness, uh, it's 18, uh, 800 luxes. So, again, very, very bright screen, guys, for which this phone is three years old, man. Three years old almost, yeah? Beautiful, just beautiful. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, what can I tell you is, uh, of course, we're gonna just judge immediately right now uh, the speakers. For now, the display itself here just looks amazing here. I'm having here, this is not even a brand new, this is not a brand new that I bought it from China, unpacked it. This is a used phone. Obviously, it's in a mint condition, it's perfect condition, 10 out of 10, but it's a, it's a slightly used phone. And uh, the display is for, for now looks amazing. We're gonna check here right now the, uh, the speakers. Let's check out the speakers here. Uh, yeah, let's go with this one. Max volume. Remember? It came also with the stereo speakers. Very nice. So rich display, so rich bro. Okay, let's go with this one. Very nice. I think you get the point guys, I think you get the point here, display, audio side, stereo speakers, noise cancellation support, Dolby Atmos, it's just everything is there. Let's go now quickly begin here with the Antutu, this is the Antutu for Snapdragon 855, 9.4.3 Antutu version, almost half million points guys, for a chip which is 3 years old, this is great man, this is seriously great. It does have overheating issues with the heavy Antutu benchmarking, obviously most of you will not do that, but with the heavy gaming the phone will overheat. So if you don't have a mask, uh, be careful. If you have a mask, obviously you're gonna feel less of the heat or just simply use a gamepad. Again, just uh, this is just to solve slightly the problem. You can't solve it unless if you want to buy maybe a uh, fan, a cooling fan, additional gadget. And this is the Geekbench 5, guys. Check this out. It's running Android 11. Let me just show right now the, uh, of course, support here, Android 11. There you go. Build number Hydrogen OS 11.0.9.1 uh, GM21. 
So this is the Chinese uh, ROM, not the global ROM, comes with the Chinese and English language. Uh, anyway, uh, firstly, uh, let's go now. Yeah, I think I showed you this that I didn't maybe show you at the beginning. You can just pause this video if you are interested. Beautiful AMOLED panel, that's just beautiful, more seriously beautiful. Let's go now here to sensors. What do we have regarding the sensors with OnePlus and Pro? Everything, gyroscope, magnetometer, proximity, light, and accelerometer. That is nice, they're very, very nice. Uh, regarding the wallpapers, many kind of different wallpapers you have. Check this out, we can open this one. It's very beautiful. Wow, just wow, man, just seriously, just wow. Uh, anyway, scrolling here with the Facebook. 90 Hz, this is me using full HD 90 Hz uh, mode. You can obviously use the uh, WQI uh, QHD or lower it down to 60 Hz, 60 FPS. It's just an amazing fluid, very, very fluid experience, guys. I'm having Samsung S10e, which came uh, in the same, almost same year, same, uh, just three months older, just way, way slower than the OnePlus 7 Pro, way, way slower, guys, the excellence chip with it. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go now with the Face ID. Check it out this speed, guys. The camera just pops up goes down that's that's how fast it is bro that's how fast it is as soon as the camera goes up uh, out it just immediately recognizes my face uh, also uh, let's go with the fingerprint sensor the in display fingerprint sensor check this out very fast very reliable after three years check this out guys uh, one thing which I can tell you, obviously, uh, I'm, I'm doing this review after all the updates, OTAs, etc, etc, uh, is the thing is that this phone is in a great condition. I'm not sure how the phone will work if felt so many times, it has cracked screen, uh, uh, displayed so many scratches, etc, etc. This display, this phone doesn't have any scratch whatsoever, guys. So I can't tell you that experience, okay? Uh, anyway, now we're gonna go with the camera department. We'll be showing you what you get with the camera itself. Uh, 48 megapixel back sensor, uh, Sony IMX 586, telephoto lens and ultra wide lens. Remember, this one comes with the optical, uh, optical, uh, optical zoom. This is gonna be very cool, three times optical zoom and optical image stabilization the front selfie camera guys is 60 megapixel sony imx 471 awesome seriously awesome battery life guys 4000 mAh battery with the 30 uh, 30 watts charging technology which is really good this is really good for three years old phone it's very good comes with nfc otg ota volti and mhl out remember this device has an mhl out so you can connect it with your tv and that's also specific about flagship devices from oneplus huawei and samsung and some other gaming devices. Anyway guys, let's show you the pictures, videos, and uh, I will be showing a little bit of the gaming for the end. Uh, I would also advise you to check my channel for full gaming review of the OnePlus 7 Pro and full emulation review of the OnePlus 7 Pro. So please make sure to check it out. Uh, anyway, if you're gonna enjoy, enjoy bro. Leave that like. In the description, you're gonna have my suggestions which smartphones to buy from 200 to $1,000. My salam, enjoy. Okay, just assalamu alaikum, this is OnePlus 7 Pro, 1080p front selfie camera test with this beautiful pop-up camera. Ah, this pop-up camera is insane and OnePlus 7 Pro. Check this out guys. Still one of the best buys till this date. Especially if you can buy it obviously second hand, but I hope in mint condition. That's it, let's go next. It's ultra wide. I had to such movie yet. Four K thirty FPS ultra wide. Okay, four K thirty FPS one plus seven pro handheld footage. Let's check this out after the updates. Hydrogen hydrogen OS. Okay, this ten eighty P thirty FPS one plus seven pro handheld footage. Okay, OnePlus 7 Pro, 1080p, ultra-wide camera lens. Awesome. What amazing book, man. This is OnePlus 7 Pro, main camera, 1080p resolution. Check the book in the background, guys. Awesome stuff, man. Absolutely crazy great camera for the price tag.
justo entre los límites del bien y el mal, camino entre los bosques y la gran ciudad, ideas que me habitan quieren gobernar y otras son sembrar por la libertad. Justo entre los límites del bien y el mal, camino entre los bosques y la gran ciudad, observo con los ojos de mi infancia, a ver si reconecto con mi esencia. Uh, is that the screen recording comparison to the Xiaomi devices, Pokemon devices, will work amazing, man. Uh, it will give you amazing bitrate, amazing frame rates, you're not gonna feel a lot of stutters, etc, etc. The phone will overheat, Snapdragon 845 and 855 do overheat. Especially with the OnePlus, remember the OnePlus didn't block anything, the thermals, no blockage there at all, it just uses the full power, the full bursting speed of the course so we have amazing frame rate amazing speed check this out guys also you're gonna see by yourself the screen 90 hertz is serious you can notice the difference for sure obviously if the game supports 90 fps but from 90 to 120 uh, i think it's not gonna be that drastic difference you can notice obviously but it's not gonna be a drastic difference as, as from 60 to 90 or from 60 to 120 Similar stuff like from 120 to 144, it's, it's not a big difference man to notice. <laughs> 